Here we're going to take a look at the reactions of esters, starting with an acid catalyzed hydrolysis. So remember when we use the term um, catalyzed, that means you only need a small catalytic amount of acid to accomplish this transformation. So let's just say we have this ethyl ester, and under these conditions, we're going to use acid and water, and that will hydrolyze this to a carboxylic acid. plus the corresponding alcohol that came from the ester. So a couple of things with this, uh, where we reviewed the different mechanism types, uh, this is one that should be familiar. This is type 2A mechanism. Also, this is just the reverse mechanism of the Fischer esterification. In the fissure, we used excess alcohol and reacted that with the carboxylic acid under acidic conditions to produce the ester. Now we're using um, an excess of water to drive this reaction. That's the easiest way to drive the hydrolysis reactions. So for the mechanism, we have acid around. The first step with a carbonyl and acid is to protonate the carbonyl oxygen. Now we have this activated carbonyl where we can add water. So water acts as a nucleophile and adds to the carbonyl carbon. Okay, at this stage, we need to transfer the proton from the OH to the O-ethyl group. Uh, you can use the shortcut and just transfer it directly, or we can do the two-step process um, here. I'll just go ahead and go through it in two steps, which is known to be, thought to be the actual way that this works. So first, some base comes in. Most likely, it's going to be water because there's so much water around that will take the proton from this oxygen. And then from there, now we still have acid around. So then we'll protonate this ethyl group, which is what we want to have eventually leave. Okay, so now we have the protonated ethyl group, which is a good leaving group, and we'll assist it in leaving using the lone pair of one of these OHs. So if we push that down, we can displace the ethyl group, or ethanol. Here's where we lose ethanol. Now we just have our protonated carboxylic acid. And a base can come in. 
and take that proton off to leave us with the final product. Here we're going to look at um, a different type of hydrolysis of esters, the base promoted hydrolysis. So in this case, we're going to use a base like sodium hydroxide. And then when we use the term promoted, that means we're actually adding a full equivalent of base. So it's not catalytic. This, um, in terms of the mechanism types, This falls in the type 2C category. So for this, let's take, um, we'll just take a simple methyl ester. And for the hydrolysis, what we're doing is using sodium hydroxide and water. And in the end, we are going to end up with um, the carboxylic acid. But this one, I think it's actually a little better to walk through the mechanistic steps to get to the product. So what we do uh, for this hydroxide your base or nucleophile, and that will add to the carbonyl. to give this tetrahedral intermediate. At this point, really the OH and the O-methyl group are fairly equivalent in terms of leaving group ability. So you have equal likelihood of losing either. If you bring these electrons back down and lose the OH group, you just revert to starting material. But if you lose the methoxy group, we get the carboxylic acid. Plus methoxide. Now you'll notice all of these steps so far are equilibrium. And there's no real driving force to this point. But we have done the hydrolysis to hydrolyze the ester to the carboxylic acid. But the driving force here is that we formed a pretty good acid and a pretty good base and you get a very fast acid base reaction. So we get the carboxylate anion uh, plus protonated oxygen to have the alcohol. So the base we were using was sodium hydroxide. And what will happen, the sodium ion will come and just hang out with the oxygen anion. And this is a very stable carboxylate salt. Again, this step is the driving force. Now at this point, uh, to get the actual carboxylic acid out, in the end, you need a second step. Where we add acid. So you might just see add H plus or dilute acid, or it might be written 
just HCl, something like that, to say that we're adding acid to this to protonate the oxygen. Once you do that, it'll protonate that carboxylate, giving us the carboxylic acid. So for um, an ester hydrolysis, you actually want two steps. So just to give you kind of an example of how this might be written, if we wanted to hydrolyze this ester here, you would see a two-step reaction where we do uh, the hydrolysis followed by the protonation step. So then the product of this would be the carboxylic acid, and in this case, ethanol. This base-promoted hydrolysis um, is often given another term, uh, which is called saponification. And that term comes um, more so from soap chemistry, where uh, fats and oils are saponified to give soap molecules, uh, which is something we are going to look at.